Fitzroy's sword is a very strong longsword in Lords of the Fallen and is my personal weapon of choice. To get it, we'll start at the Shuja Hamlet Vestige. The first thing we'll need to do is shift over to the Umbral so we can cross the water. We can then open the nearby bridge, backtrack to the Vestige, and rest in order to exit the Umbral. With the bridge down, we won't need to enter the Umbral to cross this time. Next, we'll follow the torches into a cave. There is a gate barring our path, but it can be crossed with the Umbral Lantern. There are quite a few enemies along this next path, and you can fight them, or just run past. There is another gate up ahead that can only be crossed with the Umbral Lantern, and we can leave the enemies behind once we cross it. We're almost there now, and you can defeat these enemies here if you'd like, but I'm going to just run straight to where the sword normally is. Avoid the first pickup here, as it's actually a trap and you'll just get eaten. While I already picked up Fitzroy's sword, it's normally sitting right here upon this rock. Fitzroy's sword requires 17 strength and 19 agility to use proficiently. It inflicts 100 bleed status per hit, and pairs nicely with a shield for a more defensive style of play. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me in the comments where I'll do my best to help. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel. And if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat. Her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day. If you're here today, have a great Sunday. And as always, thanks for watching.